Chapter Seven of The Story of Mankind. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This reading by Kara Schallenberg. The Story of Mankind by Hendrik van Loon. Chapter Seven, Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia, the second center of Eastern civilization. I am going to take you to the top of the highest pyramid, and I am going to ask that you imagine yourself possessed of the eyes of a hawk. Way, way off, in the distance, far beyond the yellow sands of the desert, you will see something green and shimmering. It is a valley situated between two rivers. It is the paradise of the Old Testament. It is the land of mystery and wonder which the Greeks called Mesopotamia. The country between the rivers. The names of the two rivers are the Euphrates, which the Babylonians called the Puratu, and the Tigris, which was known as the Diklat. They begin their course amidst the snows of the mountains of Armenia, where Noah's Ark found a resting place, and slowly they flow through the southern plain until they reach the muddy banks of the Persian Gulf. They perform a very useful service. They turn the arid regions of western Asia into a fertile garden. The valley of the Nile had attracted people because it had offered them food upon fairly easy terms. The land between the rivers was popular for the same reason. It was a country full of promise, and both the inhabitants of the northern mountains and the tribes which roamed through the southern deserts tried to claim this territory as their own and most exclusive possession. The constant rivalry between the mountaineers and the desert nomads led to endless warfare. Only the strongest and the bravest could hope to survive, and that will explain why Mesopotamia became the home of a very strong race of men, who were capable of creating a civilization which was in every respect as important as that of Egypt. End of chapter seven. Read on August sixth, two thousand eight, in San Diego, California.